You know, I've been asked to tell a story um, from my time as a missionary in Cameroon. And there are lots and lots of, I mean, hundreds of stories. But one of the most powerful ones, I think, was I was called to a compound where I stayed. People uh, lived in houses, you know, there was a kind of main house and then maybe a few little houses round about it. And then the next compound would be maybe 100, 200, 300 yards away. So I had been called to this compound uh, to, to bury someone, a young man who had died of AIDS. Then about a month later I was called back again to bury another son of this compound who had died of AIDS. And then about maybe six months later um, I was called to the compound and here was a young man who was, you know, absolutely rake thin and he was dying and his his wife was there with him and what what he wanted was that that everything his life should be complete and his life should be put in order so we did you know uh, confession reconciliation uh, and then um, I did the marriage of this man and his wife. They had been married traditionally, but he wanted to be married in church, as we say. And then I gave them both sacrament of the sick, because she also, she was HIV positive as well. And I remember giving them communion, and it was one of the most profound, moving moments of my life. Here was this young couple, in the middle of nowhere, Nobody, nobody would, you know, know that they had lived and had died in the middle of this forest, apart from the people nearby. And yet the love of God came there in that moment that was stronger than death, that was stronger than being anonymous in a large world, that in that moment it seemed as though they were absolutely really important to God in that moment. And for me to be there, um, I remember just the sense of consolation and comfort that they received, but also I received, that ultimately what we share is our humanity and our needs uh, in front of God. And it's, it's needs which connect us. Not so much maybe the happy things and the joyful things and all that, they certainly connect us. but. It's when we share our needs together that we experience that tenderness and love of God.